I wanted to talk about today. I wrote down some talking points. <laughs> um, firstly, I wanted to tell you guys that the 14th, so in a few days, is this one's sixth birthday. <gasps> so we're going to be having a grizzly day, and I will definitely be sure to take you guys along with us. Um, the other things that I wanted to talk about are... Um, um, okay, I'm doing this so out of order. Um, <laughs> the 1940s cleaning routine that I found recently on uh, on this website, actually, by a, a channel from this girl called With Love Christina. Um, and I've only been following her routine here for about a week. And it has made the house so much easier to clean, like, on a daily basis. And I think that having that structure there really genuinely helps me a lot. <laughs> but it's actually ship shape in here and it's so much easier and I will leave a link to that video in the description below. The other thing that I wanted to talk about uh, is house hunting. My boyfriend and I are halfway through the lease here and we are currently looking for somewhere else to live. Um, I wrote down three things here, which I'm dubbing the three F's because they're really the first, or uh, they're really the three things that are affecting us in this search. Um, the first F is first time buyers. The second F is foreclosures. And the third F is family. They're not in any actual order. It's just the order I thought of them in when I was writing this talking point note. <laughs> um, so basically, my boyfriend and I are looking to move closer to his mother because he wants to spend some time with her and that's more than applicable. Um, I'd love to do the same with my mom, but my mom's dead. So, <laughs> um, so, but she also, her house just got sold. So our initial plan to move to Virginia where she is now is kaputs and we don't know where she's going to go. So we have to wait to find out where she's going to go. Um, and that's stressful because I don't like not knowing where I'm going to live. I spent the first 29 years of my life in the same house. And I've lived in two houses in the last year. I don't like that. I like stability. I like normality. I like calmness. I like not freaking out about what I'm going to do in six months. <laughs> but uh, my boyfriend and I have been discussing a lot about what our next step is with the move because while yes I want stability and I want to be home versus just in a temporary house like I think it still might be easier for us and more beneficial to us to get a house that's somehow either foreclosed or truly really worn down that we can then fix up you know flip it and sell it I think that would be our best bet, just to make more money on top of it to actually get the acreage that he wants and the like house that I want. Because a lot of times searching through these like search engines, you see the acreage that he wants for the price that we can afford, but there's no house on it. There's no electricity run to it, there's no road run to it, there's no water, there's no nothing, and that costs money. And a lot of the little houses that I like and he also likes are on like less than half an acre of land, which mm -mm. I need a homestead, I need a chicken coop, I need room for a greenhouse, I need a fruit cellar, I want cows, I want goats. It's mm. I need to prepare for the end of the world for when S H T F. Here does the fight. <laughs> And that doesn't happen really on less than half an acre. It could, but it's gonna be cramped, you know? But <laughs> we did see a few houses that um, I thought were pretty cool, but upon further inspection, there was a pretty good bit of water damage along the inside wall of the one house that was close to like the center of the house. So it was, mm -mm. It was so cute. It was a five bedroom Victorian that was like 70 some grand and foreclosed on a decent bit of land. And we were like, oh, we gotta go for this. It's not that far, blah, blah, blah. So 
we're looking at it looking at it and of course i'm falling in love with it the more i look at it because i'm just looking at oh that's cute and that's cute we can do this with this room and that with that room and oh we can take care of that giant tree falling over in the backyard not a big deal no and my boyfriend comes in and looks at it it's like water damage sheetrock roof this that the other thing and i'm like oh no <laughs> But yes, and that does kind of lead into my other F of the three Fs, the first time buyers, because I do genuinely think that it would be smarter for us to invest in a property to then be able to buy our dream home slash land with, you know? But um, yeah, that's all I got for talking points right now. I might film a little bit around the house. You might just get this. I do not know. You wanna say hi, Jamal? Come here! Come here, come here! Come here, come here, come here! Come on the camera! Huh? <laughs> Who's all go by this? Who's all go by this? Yeah. You have to call her a good baby. If you call her a good girl, you might get a chump. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why she just doesn't like good girls. She prefers good baby. Yeah. Go by me, go by me. Oh, her sweet baby. So thanks again for joining us here, and I will see you guys later. Bye! <laughs> so the mailman just came, so you get a little extra video, because I got a package and I have no idea what's in it. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh, a cute little note. Oh, it's the dress I ordered. That's cute. I got this from Depop. I hope you guys couldn't see my address on there while I was uh, opening it. If you see a cut, that's what I did. Oh, cute! Well, you. That's cute. Yeah, but that's nice. It'll fit. Yeah, let's get a better angle on this. Girls know this is how you check. Does the side fit the side of your shirt? It does. Then yay! It is a little heavier, but it's not black, so my boyfriend will be happy about that. <laughs> it's still dark blue though, so I win. Ha ha! <laughs> I'm quite happy about this. Thank you, Stephanie, the girl that I bought it from. That I didn't remember your name until I saw the letter thing over here. Thank you, Stephanie!